Hey, it's Bob Monkey Cheese, aka Kev, on the Hobby Corner, and uh, yeah, we're doing a little something different here. Um, first of all, you will notice that my right eye is gone all skew uh, something got in it, it feels like it's scratching itself continuously, and it's absolutely <laughs> bullshit. Uh, that being said, I'm still keeping myself busy. And while the kids and the wife are fast asleep, I'm enjoying myself a brew, some bickies, and a little catch-up session on building my stuff. So, let's see what I've been up to. Alright, so I totally brain fired and forgot to plug in the microphone. So, uh, let's get to it anyway. So, uh, to start with, um, doing the... Um, a little quick bit on building these uh, Blight Lord Terminator thingies um, but I want to show you what, what I did with the Reavers so because we already got three I thought I'd do a little something different um, so at the base of the neck you have like a, a peg that sort of fits a certain slot in the torsos I just snipped that off uh, that allowed me to swap the head with the torso so the generic build is that this is the sergeant torso and there's the sergeant head but on different bodies now also gives you a bit more posability with the heads as well um oh, you've got a little uh, button that will come up here and that will link you to the video where i discussed this more in length and show you how to build the original format um also clipped the pegs out for the arms, swapped a couple of the arms around just to get slightly different poses so you know this one's a bit more dynamic and then he's sort of just standing there going you know come and taste the still of my sword haha <laughs> and then this dude he's more like you know charge over there get me closer to the enemy so I can hit him with my sword so that's these chaps done out of the way and I made a little bit different from the other three so there's a bit more variation there um, as for the container I decided I wanted to do both doors open this also means that I'll have to paint the inside so I'll, I'll go over that in another video with you guys um, you can paint the inside before you put it together um, but as you know you're not really focusing on the detail on the inside too much you can get away with just getting a large brush in there and just making a mess of it um, it's more just the, uh, the inner part of the door that you need to worry about um, I'm doing both entrances open rather than just one uh, the reason why I want to do this is because it's still line of sight blocking terrain in different directions but you have the option of maybe catching uh, your enemy off guard uh, in one direction or oops you can have your troops running for more solid cover like so and they do fit inside so you can get three troops in there no problem um, so just to go for gluing the doors open essentially it's really easy you just got to make sure it's on a dead to flat surface you put a bunch of glue where the hinge will be like so boop, 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 boop. and then you just rest it on there like so like that. don't need to press don't need to do anything you just leave it as that essentially all you got to do you know how to clip the dudes out you know how to keep them all together You've got to use this to sort of uh, clean off any of the mold lines you know just by scraping along sort of in this sort of fashion nice and easy like that um, as you may know by now I am keeping the nurgling separate because I want to put them on their own bases and have a little collection of those dudes this on the other hand is just a blob of what I can only imagine some kind of spawn turd so I will stick that on the base of one of them um, 
you know, all you got to do is just stick it in the hole. Ha. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. So you just choose whichever one you want to put that on. You won't be able to put it on um, this guy's base because he's got a standy up base. Felfius, that's his name. Um, so, yeah, what I'll do briefly go over buildings because you just got to follow the examples essentially um, in regards because you've got the pegs as well what you do want to do as I've described before with easy builds is just trim a little bit off at, and then do a slight angle the reason why you do this if you haven't seen the videos before is um, it allows some of the air to come out and it allows you to glue it as well because you got to remember the glue does take up some space within the uh, the hole where you put the peg um, and also you get some air trapped in there as well so you'll be able to push it flush without any problems but before you stick these bits together you don't even need any glue for this really as it is all push fit um, so you just pop his head there you do have the option of clipping his head off and then you can sort of pose it slightly or if you want to swap one of the other heads I'm sure that it's possible as well I'm sure you can like pop one of these heads on or if you saved another uh, plague marines head as well you could do that this dude has no head apparently I don't know where his is gone always pop this one on as well so you got options yeah all you got to do is just clip them out stick them in place um, but I wanted to just put this dude together anyway and, uh, what you want to do is stick the arm on as well because that's gonna go inside the armor and then you just slide the front of the cataphracty terminator armor on and you should just slide. There you go. It just needs a little bit of a push. And then you just stick. Oh, there's the head there, I'm I do like this head. There. I can't pick it up. Here we go. Alright, so uh, yeah, just pop in the slots like that, nice and easy. And put his exhaust vents on the back as well. And then you put your sh shins into his feet. I mean, this I have to say is the easiest, uh, easy to build kit that I've put together. Um, Normally I end up trimming a lot of the pegs on these kits, but this one, I only trimmed those two that I showed you, and I don't even think I needed to do those, because the ones on the feet fit very well. Oh, same as the arm. Alright, and then you can always keep the little gap if you want, just to make it look a bit decrepit, or you could do that old uh, trick of just using a scraper to fill in the gap by dragging some of the plastic over like so if you've got liquid green stuff you can use that too and there we go boom easy honestly cleaning off the mold lines is the longest part of building this uh, kit the rest of it's really easy oh, I could do all of it for you actually so, uh,
have got the Tainted Cohort, Lord Thalius, and he was built. Oh. And he was built in no time. And then, of course, got my Nurglings as spares. So, thank you very much for joining me on that exciting episode. And, uh,. If you uh, do have any other interesting conversion ideas, please share them. You can go to my uh, Facebook page or my Instagram or you can go to my Twitter account. Um, the links are in the description below. And um, you can also use the hashtag the underscore hobby underscore corner and throw that on a picture and I'll get that straight away. So, until next time. Um, oh yeah, also don't forget, in my previous video, um, I've done a subscriber giveaway. So all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed. Hop over to that video. I'll put the link in the description and at the end of the video. And uh, put down the phrase, for the emperor. Um, and you could be in a chance of winning yourself a personalized intercessor sergeant painted by moi to a very high detail and you get to choose the uh, the, the color scheme um, and you know if you want any conversions made on it I'll even do that as well uh, the only uh, restriction is I'm absolutely crap with non-metallic metal and I um, can only afford to ship it within the UK so sorry guys but I'll tell you what if you can get me to 200 subscribers I have said in the video I'll do the full th uh, three man squad of intercessors so if you don't mind I'm gonna finish off my tea cheers